Our world is a beautiful place to live with grand hills, colorful springs, refreshing rivers and green grass plains. And surrounded by all this beauty, we have built ourselves comfortable homes. Also, there are stunning beaches and mountains for our next vacation too. But what if suddenly the ground cracks and our home is destroyed? Or our favorite beach is completely ruined? Or the snowy mountains collapse and tumble down? Don't worry because right now everything is okay and we are all safe. What you just saw were nothing but examples of disasters. Earthquakes, floods, cyclones, forest fires, famines, avalanches and volcanic eruptions are all disasters that can disturb our comfortable world. They can be very dangerous and can cause a lot of destruction. Houses and vehicles are destroyed in no time. People die in large numbers. And important services like markets, hospitals and banks are shut down, leaving people hungry, sick and out of work. It then takes days, months and years to rebuild everything. Even after a long, long time, people remain in shock and pain. Disasters also affect other living beings like animals and plants. But don't lose hope. We can fight any situation if we are well aware of it. So one of the most important things to know about disasters is that they can either be natural or man-made. Now disasters like floods, earthquakes, tsunamis, cyclones, volcanic eruptions and storms are all natural disasters. They are caused by nature and that is why we humans have pretty much no control over it. Then we have disasters like accidents in the factories, fires in houses, road accidents, war, plane crashes and so on. All of these happen because of humans and that is why they are called man-made disasters. Natural and man-made disasters together cause a huge loss of life and property. We always hope that such things don't happen. But disasters hardly come with any notice, right? So the only option we have is to manage them and always be prepared. And for this, we need to understand how these disasters affect our lives. Like in the case of floods, the excess water is the main problem. While in the case of droughts, the challenge is to deal with the shortage of water, which are actually totally opposite to each other, aren't they? Also, we need to understand how these disasters occur. Now, this is important because the cause of an earthquake is completely different from, say, a cyclone. Well, whatever the reasons may be, the fact is that disasters can be very dangerous and can happen at any time. So, we must be alert and be prepared for them. Just the way that we are careful while crossing a road or driving a car. And believe me, it isn't that difficult. All we have to do is be ready 
and aware. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.